Hi everybody, this is Pam with Jesus Junk Journals and we're going on with this blank planner and I'm working on, actually we have a special feature page here and then we've got June. And so I am trying to keep this one simple because I did a lot of crazy stuff in my <laughs> faith in my faith planner and this is the blank planner. So if you're looking for some a uh, little bit off the wall ideas, you can go look at that set of videos, but I'm trying to be more straightforward with this one. So we're doing June, so I'm gonna lay those out. But first we're gonna do this page. And so what I think I'm gonna do is something real simple. I've got some big giant uh, sheet music I got at a flea market. And it was, it says 1921 copyright on this one. So I'm gonna, actually, I don't want the edge of it. So I am going to try to guess I could take it up here. I'm gonna try and draw around it and cut it out. This is for people who have bad eyes, I guess. <laughs> it's great big. And I can't see the line, so it looks for me. I think it's there, but I'm not sure. Hope you guys are having a great uh, craft day today, having fun. Um, I am by myself. My husband is gone to Kansas City to cut a tree down for somebody. He's retired, but that's what he did for about 30 years was trim trees away from power lines. So he decided to go up and help someone. And you know, I'll have to trim some more. Let's see, I might just trim that whole bottom piece off here. So I'm by myself and the dogs are here and they usually stay downstairs with him, but they're having a fit because they're big babies, and so they're upstairs with me. So if you hear if you hear a snoring sound, that is my Boston Terrier in the background snoring because I I guess I bore him. <laughs> He's not a crafter, I have to say. So and there he is. Yeah, I knew he would speak up sooner or later. I'm so used to hearing it, I don't even realize it. And sometimes I'll be on my phone with, you know, say the phone carrier talking or, you know, some other business. And <laughs> I put him on speakerphone and I realize that he's in the background snoring. I think, I wonder what they think, if they think that's like a person. <laughs> but any kind of bulldog will do that, I guess. All right, so now let me trim it off. And then I'll ink it, and then we can get on. And all I'm gonna do on this one is do a double pocket. I think I did that on the last signature. But I've got uh, some pockets I cut and then decided not to use. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put them on here. And I'm going to add a little bit of washi tape to them, too, just to make them just a little more interest to them. Okay, so there's the background. And then the pockets are these. And I'm just going to overlap them like that. But first, I'm going to add a little bit of washi tape to the edge. Let's see. Here's a good one.
you can hear my German Shepherd over here, his toenails clicking on the floor and hello, hi there. Yeah, go lay down, go lay down. All he thinks about is going outside. So the Boston Terrier, all he thinks about is food. The German Shepherd, <laughs> all he thinks about is going outside. And then the little terrier, I don't know what he likes. He likes to follow me around. He likes to be where I'm at. That's his main drive. Okay, so then on this one, I want a different tape. I'll use this one. The terrier likes to be with me, but he wants me to be where he wants me to be. And that's usually down in our TV TV room <laughs> because we have a recliner and he, he has the real estate uh, on the foot that pops up. That's his, that's where he lives. That's where he likes to lay because he's up in the air and kind of king of his domain. And he wants me in there so he can be there. And I don't go in there often enough for him. So he's always looking at me like, why? Why won't you do what I want? So then I feel bad. So then I go in there and sit for a while. So he feels good. <laughs> Does anybody else do that? <laughs> it's crazy. I know. I agree. All right, so yeah, I think I'll put the, or do I want it like this? Doesn't really make much difference, I know. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Just because I like this alphabet paper better. <laughs> so he gets to be on top so I can see more of him. Okay. It's funny how you cut a square angle and then it doesn't fit on your page. <laughs> Nothing is square, I guess. In journal world, junk journal world, or in my junk journal world, I should say. Some of you, I'm sure, are probably very careful to have right angles. All right, so there's that. And add a little bit of ink on there and we're good. Okay, so now we're ready to start on June. And June has got rose and various colors of pink. So I happen to leave that, leave that out in my ink because I knew it was coming up. So I'm going to um, use my worn lipstick ink and add just a little bit more color to this pocket and that goes on the bottom of this and I'm actually going to add a little bit of color to this <laughs> just kind of rosy that up a little bit and glue this on. This is a little bitty pocket. Mm -hmm. I know. And let's see, what did I do on the last one? I did scrapping. I think I will do some stencils. I'm going to use this crazy stencil because it won't show. And I like to have two colors. So I do you have I don't know if any of you guys have ever used that aged mahogany. It looks a little scary to me. 
but it's a dark red. So I'm going to try it. See, see what happens. And then use the worn lipstick. Just hopefully I don't get too carried away. Oh, that's not too bad. Huh. Okay. Cool. Uh oh. I should have put a paper under this. Oh well. Hmm. Wonder if that'll even show as a different color. They all kind of look alike, don't they? Well, I think my swatch on there is a little misleading because that is not that dark. And I know I'm overlapping these, but I'm really just about getting some color up there. Okay. Well, that's cool. Oh, I like it. And I need to not be afraid of aged mahogany, apparently. Okay, so, yeah, looks kind of cool. Is that okay to say? <laughs> Complimenting myself. It's really a game of chance a lot of times, isn't it? Which makes it fun. You never quite know. Uh-oh, uh-oh. You know what I did? I got the wrong. <laughs> I'm going to go on and glue this on here and figure it out later. How about that? Because I got glue on it. Wow, all right, that goes there. This page is the one that goes here. And I need to kind of add some pink to this, I think, I feel like. I've got a nice little uh, grayed out rose pattern in the background. Hopefully you like that. Okay. Let's try that. Let's try putting the right page on the right page. That would be great. Okay, so there's that. And now, now here's this. So I'm gonna go back to I'm going to go back and use these, which I used earlier in this series, these Neo Color Water Soluble Crayons. Um, I'm going to try that. Let me get a brush to put water on with. Okay, so, well, I'm going to try like a reddish orange and a purpley orange just for, um, this is kind of what I did on the other one, but just making some marks. And then taking some water. <laughs> well, taking some water. And of course, don't get it very wet because you know you don't want to obscure the print on the back. But just kind of smearing it around. And I'm being a little on the careless side just because I know if I don't like it, I can always glue scraps over it. <laughs> so there's that. Okay. All right. 
right, so I got that done. So now we are come, we have come to our pocket and get this out of the way. Let's see. You know what I didn't do is the June place to put something on that page. I think what I'm going to do is just cut this pocket and make a little bitty pocket that you could tuck papers into if you wanted to. And I think I'm going to put it there. And I'm looking to see if I have anything like that on these other ones. There's two different sets of these pockets. I could do this right here, I think. And I'm going to trim that black edge off and just put a couple of And I am just going to glue these on and let them just be little tiny micro pockets. So, in theory, you could tuck things there if you wanted to. I didn't ink them. I don't want them inked. I think... Uh, I'm trying to not be crazy. I put, if this was a like on the other one, I probably would have got the tool out and made a pocket out of tool to go over it so you could see through it. So that's a possibility too. So that is all I'm gonna do, I think, for pockets on there. And uh, that's really stretching it to call those pockets, I know, but. And this, I need to, I feel like I need to ink that again. I think I, washed away some with uh, water when I inked it or used the Crayolas. Okay. All right. So now we've got this pocket. And so I need a background for that. And I think I might do scrapping again. And I might just do maybe some bigger pieces than usual. I like this horse. I think I'll glue him on. I need a piece up there in the corner. I think I'll just use an upside down piece of music. there. And does that cover it? Yes. Okay, so let me trim it. Okay. that on. Okay, so there's that. So then all we have is this, and that gets the little chart, or not chart, but one of those. 
And I'm gonna go ahead and glue this one on. This is pretty, but I don't, I'm not that crazy about it, so I'm not worried about covering it up. So I will just glue that on. And I'm just gonna go right on to July, since that didn't really take very long. We'll get two months done. All right, so there's June. So then let's move to July. And here is July. So, let me get my blue ink. And I don't have this blue, but I think the blue print sketch might work. So I'm gonna hit it with that. It's really more of a purpley, isn't it? So I've got the chip sapphire, but it's a very, it seems like it's always, it's pretty dark. I don't know if I can do it light. Let's see. Ooh, see what I mean? Which is okay if you're not going to write, if you're not going to write on that pocket, but I guess you could always glue a label over it, right? So, let me glue that on the bottom of this page. So, some people don't really care for digi kits or digital kits. They think that they they want to do everything themselves, and that's awesome, and I have done that too, but I kind of think this the digital kits give you a like a starting point, and then you can go from there. So it adds a certain level of complexity, so you don't have to think that through, and then you can take it up even higher with your own personal artwork or, you know, scrapping or whatever, I think. Okay, so I am just going to use washi tape on this to create a border. So let me find a washi tape that I like. Here's one that's, there's a blue I could use. I might use it with, oh, here's a blue too. All right, well, let me try that. Oh no, we'll see. I go over it with the other one too. I do like that wa that washi tape. It's kind of cool looking. <laughs> oh, I'm done buried myself again. Oh. Cut that one off short, that's all right. I'm gonna go over it with another one, I think. And glue. Well, that might just be just fine. I wasn't sure if this glue would work, but. Yeah, that's awesome. I like it. All right, and then all we have to do is glue our page on. 
I almost feel like I'm cheating when I do something simple. <laughs> like, I don't know why I feel like I have to make everything hard. Okay. Well, that looks pretty good. If I do say so myself. Okay, so there's that. Okay, so then we're, we're here to this page. And I'm kind of wanting to use this washi tape now. That went so well. I think what I'll do, where'd that, I'm going to put just a little bit of color behind it so if there's a white flash, it won't be white. Oh, I forgot to put glue. I know. He's got a big old nose and he sticks it under my hand and flips it. I know. I know. I know. Just hang on. Almost done. He says, you said that a minute ago. <laughs> okay, that should do it, more or less. Looks like the sides are wet enough. All right, not completely in love with the way the blues match, but that's that's all right. I'm gonna let it. I'm gonna let it go. Oh yeah, and I guess I better trim the tape. Okay, and then we are to the page with the pocket. So what am I gonna use? Let's see, what do I have? I actually have this piece of, it's not exactly the same blue, but no, it is not. It's aqua. It's a pretty piece of scrap paper. I will use that. All right. I didn't get it perfect, but I'm going to just let Distress Ink do the, do the hiding of that. Okay, let's see if I can make that fade away, yes, okay. Okay, and then I just need to glue this pocket on and I'm done with that. And I'm done with, wait, no I'm not, I'm not done with July. I still have the lace. Put that on. And then we have that page. And I do like that. So, I'm going to do, I know. Oh, I know what happened. Okay, I was supposed to print <laughs> two pages of those and I didn't. So now I need to either print that or make my own. And I think I will just make my own. And I think what I'm gonna do, I had this paper I printed with, I laid lace over it and sprayed some distress ink on top of the lace on some copy paper. So I think I'm just going to make myself 
I am back and my phone died. <laughs> my camera died. So I'm just going to show you. I ended up, I just did a double, like just folded a piece of this paper and I used washi tape on both sides to hold it in and inked it. And so that's my solution for this month's little page here. And that was it. I was all done. I just almost made it. <laughs> and then my camera died. So um, anyway, thank you for watching. If you like the video, please click the like button and think about subscribing. And I will see you on the next video and we will do August. Thank you. Bye-bye.